Hey guys, this is John and Steve, and we're here in my apartment, and we're going to talk about some of our uh, fiascos that went on this weekend, uh, some stuff that went on last night, some stuff that's happening in the future, and some stuff that happened in the past. So we're kind of talking about everything. We're going to talk about the Big Bang Theory tonight, folks. Uh, that's what we're talking about. So a long, we're going we're to start in the beginning. <laughs> so a long time ago, an amoeba squirmed out of the primordial ooze onto the first piece of... Oh, wait. We don't probably want to go that far back. No, 2,000 years ago. God <laughs> made everything. Yeah. Get it right, the, Steve. Oh, okay. So we're going to agree to disagree on that one, because I'm, I'm science. I'm, I'm <laughs> science, too. I just think it's... Uh, when the amoeba crawl out of the primordial ooze. <laughs> Anyways, we had Toledo G-Fest this weekend. Uh, we had a very good time there. We participated in a parade. I came up on Friday after work with Miss Madison, and we camped out with Steve. Uh, we hung out with Neil, and then, well, we went to the Barney that night, which is an Irish yep. pub. And then yep. later on, uh, we went back to Steve's, and then in the morning, we had a parade. So Everybody loves a parade. No, the parade was really cool. There was a ton of Jeeps, ton of unique Jeeps. Kind of gives you uh, different ideas of what you want to do for build-wise, uh, what's out there. Over 1,300 participants in the parade. Are you serious? Yeah. No wonder they were yelling at us when we kept on stacking. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get off of him. You left. Keep going. Oh, sorry, buddy. See you later. Have an alligator after a while. Crocodile. Yeah. Bullshit the, like The crowd that. enjoyed it. So. The crowd did enjoy it. We were surrounded by a lot of cameras. Sadly enough, the other part of our group, um, we were we were in the front part of the group. Uh, we were stacking. We were getting a lot of camera attention and stuff like that with news reporters and stuff. But little did I know, I, two hours earlier, decided I wanted a flag. If you look at our Instagram... Um, or our Facebook page. Or the YouTube channel. Or the YouTube channel. It's up there. It says, I'm loving it. With a pair of legs that look like the McDonald's sign on it. I personally enjoy it. It's a very cool flag. I, I definitely am loving it. Um, but it's definitely not kid appropriate uh, yeah. for the news. Yeah. For the news. So another part of our club represented the club respectively. And they stacked made the news and a few TikToks and stuff like that. So it, it, all in all, it was good publicity for the club. Yeah. But if you get on our YouTube channel, you can watch. Uh, I had the GoPro hooked up to my bull bar, um, and you can you can hear the crowds clapping. Yeah. You watch the camera go up and come off, and you know come down on John's Jeep. But just to give you a pers uh, an idea of how many people were there watching the parade, the GoPro footage clearly shows the thousands of people that were lined no, the streets. No, I mean the festival was just packed, and something really cool happened at that festival. Um, we were walking to get our T-shirts, and we saw one of our, you know. I'm gonna I'm I'm call him one of our good buddies. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say at this point, we now know he's a yeah, good friend. I, but at I, that point, I would say like acquaintance friend level. But you know, he was. Steve goes, oh, "Hi, Greg," and I don't know if he acknowledged Steve or not. But we kept on walking. Didn't think of anything about it. We go, "Well, you know, maybe we'll talk to him that day later." So we kept on walking around. I lost Steve for a little bit, and. Um, Steve and Bill did their own thing, and I eventually caught up. And so we were walking, we decided to get lunch. Well, we went to this burger shack, and I'm turning around talking, and some goddamn motherfucker takes my hat. And I turn around in pure rage to see a mid 50s man, or a late, late 40s, 40s, late 40s, 40s, 47. That's right, yeah. Dancing around like a kid with my hat, and I'm like, Mr. Henderson, um, hello, can I have my hat back? <laughs> uh, it was just great. It was great talking to Greg again, Greg Henderson, um, a very big icon in the Jeep Nation and stuff like that. Personally, me and Steve, if you listen to our old podcast, we didn't know who the fuck this guy was. Didn't yeah. I? I didn't now, know we, now we do, but I think I still it still doesn't matter to me. I still, I yeah. mean, I talked about uh, what did we talk about this time with him? His son driving his deuce and a half to school, school, running through houses. Um, oh, his son not wanting any of the cool Jeeps and wanting an old muscle car, yeah. his first car. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't, we, I don't, and, and just hanging asked, out, we were yeah. just kidding and joking around, and, and, and what was nice, and I think it was nice for him, was we hung out for about an hour. Oh, uh, was more an hour and a half. Yeah, over on the side street, sitting on a bench in the shade, just shooting the shit, and then as soon as we got up and we parted ways... 
he walked around the corner and then got mobbed by a bunch of, you know, Jeep fanboys. Like, oh, Greg, sign my shit. And we're, you know, we, we do a wave and we leave. Um, but what's awesome is he gave John his cell phone number because we're supposed to get a hold of him and go up to his place um, for a weekend. He's going to teach us how to stick metal together. We're just going to hang out and just have probably